Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I have a question for you. Are you struggling with getting results in your home business right now? Everything you're trying is just not working and you're hitting a wall. Well, let me tell you it's not your fault. What I'm going to share with you today, it's not the marketing strategies that you are using. It is your mindset. And today I'm going to share with you the four pillars to creating an unstoppable mindset that will help you build the business of your dreams. You see, when we get started in business, it's all about focusing on those fundamentals of marketing, all the traffic strategies, the content, getting people to your site, building that audience. And that is all fine and good. But the mindset, your mindset on how you view yourself and your business is the foundation. You can only build so high as your foundation is deep. And this was the biggest mistake I made when I started my business back in 2013. I was executing everything perfectly, doing all the right things my mentors and coaches were telling me to do, and I still wasn't getting any results. And the reason for it was my mindset. And once I started focusing on my mindset and making it a daily discipline, did my results begin to change? So get out a pad of paper and a pen and be prepared to take some notes. So when you're thinking about this mindset, think of it like a table as well. If you want a solid table, you wanna make sure that all four legs are solid. So this is the unstoppable mindset. Pillar number one is vision. You need to have a vision of who you want to become. And a lot of times when, um, when I was first asked why I wanted to start my own business, it was like, well, I wanted to make extra money so I could pay off my bills. That's fine and good, but okay, there was pain behind that. You know, I was just, you know, I was diagnosed with type two diabetes. I was hospitalized. I was having medical bills piling up. My, you know, we were getting through a recession where I lost 75% of my 401k and I'm trying to figure out how am I gonna make up this, um, this money back? And so that was serious pain. And see, Reverend Michael Bethwick, he was in the, um, he was in the movie, The Secret said, pain pushes you until a vision pulls you. And what he means by that is that pain is only going to carry you so far. And then you have to have a vision that's going to pull you through when times get tough. And so the vision is, is who do you want to become when you achieve these goals? And a lot of times we don't think that far down the road. So I'm going to give you some guiding questions that I learned from one of my really good friends and mentors in business, Brian Finale. And he taught me these and I, and I ask these questions of myself every morning and it gives me clarity and it helps me tap into the person I want to become. Okay. So the first question is, I want you to envision the exact amount of money you want to see in your bank account. What do you want your home business to give you? What is that goal dollar amount? Okay, write that down. Then secondly, you want to be thinking about what would this amount of money do for my business? Okay, so if you're, you know, how is this going to affect your business goals? Is this going to make you want to invest in more coaching so that you can become a marketing genius? Is it going to allow you to be able to attend more live events? Is it going to allow you to um, maybe host some live events? Is it um, going to allow you maybe to do some more investing in your business? Maybe becoming a real estate investor? I don't know what that is, but find out what that is going, what that amount is going to do for your business. How will your business grow if you have more money in your bank account? Second question, what would this amount of money do for your family and your kids? Feel that and write down what would you what would you be doing? What would you have? What experiences would you have with your family? What type of memories would you be creating? Third question, 
what would you do? Who would you help with that amount of money? What, what causes would you be passionately supporting? What charities? Who would you be helping to make the world a better place? Because we're all looking about making impact. You know, I look at people like, um, like uh, Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is huge on human trafficking. And so what he's doing with, you know, he's hit certain amounts um, of success with his business with ClickFunnels, and he's always raising extra money and taking a lot of his abundance and looking at stopping human trafficking. Very, very big. And he's also looking at setting up schools in, in, third, in third world countries. Those are really big and passionate projects for him. And that's what keeps him moving forward. The next question you want to ask, and this is really important, what are the attitudes and beliefs that you must have in order to get that exact dollar amount? So here are some of mine where the person I'm going to become, what are the qualities that I need to be? Well, first, I need to not panic when obstacles happen. I have to learn to not panic, but to pivot. Second thing I, I have as to the person I want to become is I want to do and wish onto others as I would want done unto me. I also am working on gratitude, having gratitude, trusting the process and not being afraid to ask for anything. Okay, because asking you shall receive. So those are the things that are a part of my vision of who I want to become. Once you have that down, another way you can do this is write out, write out a little, you know, have a little journal and write out what would be your perfect day if you attain that dollar amount and you have freedom. What would you be doing with your time? Very, very powerful. Another thing you can do is create a vision board. A vision board is where you take, you know, those questions that I just um, asked you and find pictures that would best represent what you are aspiring to. And look at those every single day. And there are some amazing apps out there. I have an app on my phone. It's called the Vision Board app. And I, I take pictures. I put, that on, I put them on that uh, app. And I write down some affirmations. Affirmations are very powerful to go with those pictures. And what affirmations are, are you are, you are writing out exactly what you want as if it already happened. So for example, you could say, I'm making $100,000 a year. I'm in perfect health and physical condition. I own my home debt free. My marriage is alive, well, and a positive role model for others. I speak on stages worldwide. I fly first class on private jets. I have a home on the beach debt free. See all those um, different, those affirmations? And you say those as you're looking at those pictures. And you do that every day and you really look at those pictures when you're, when, when you're hitting the wall, when you're hearing those no's, when you're not getting the leads and sales consistently. That's when you want to be looking at that vision and keep reminding yourself of what you are working towards. So that's number one, have a vision. Number two in creating an unstoppable mindset is you want to practice gratitude. One thing I've learned to do, the first thing when I wake up in the morning, I'm saying thank you. The minute my feet hit the floor, I say thank you for my, thank you for my health. Thank you for waking up. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my cars. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for the beautiful weather. Thank you for the rain. I say a whole litany of things to be grat grateful for. And you can come up with a bunch of them, little things and the big things. And whenever something happens, practice gratitude. Because when you practice gratitude, something happens in your brain. It releases a chemical that relaxes you and makes you feel good. And when you are practicing gratitude, the more things you are grateful for, you're going to have more coming back. Because what you give away, you're allowed to keep. 
okay? And, you know, think of it being on a beach. Have you ever gone to an ocean beach and you dug a hole in the sand and then you came back a little bit later and you found that the sand, uh, the beach covered it up with more sand, that hole? It's because nature abhors a vacuum. So if you're constantly giving and expressing gratitude, what happens is that is creating a vacuum for you to attract more things to be grateful for and more abundance to you. So that's step number two, pillar number two. Pillar number three, okay, is goals. You have to be writing down goals. Now I learned this from Ray Higdon. You want to have activity goals versus result goals. Okay, you can have a result goal. And so when you're doing your vision, you can have like these big results. But you want to have activity goals and targets that you're working on for the week. Okay, the thing with result goals is we can't control the speed of the result. We can't control how fast in the timetable that we're going to achieve it. However, the activity goals are the things that we're going to do every day that are going to get us one step closer. So an example of this would be instead of saying, well, I'm going to uh, get 10 customers this week. That's a result goal. An activity goal would be, well, I'm going to prospect 10 people a day to see if they're open. I'm going to follow up with 10 people. I'm going to add, you know, people to my email list every single day. I'm going to meet 10 new people. I'm going to go out and uh, do two Facebook Lives a week. I'm going to do some Instagram Reels, three Instagram Reels a week. Those are activity goals. Okay, and at the end of the week, what you want to do is celebrate what you did, even if you only did one thing. See, it's okay to have a low production week. It's okay to not okay to have a no production week. And when you celebrate, you want to do it with a physical movement, like patting yourself on the back, putting on your favorite music, dancing. All right, dancing to that music, go pet your pets. Go high five your spouse or your kids to show that you made some progress. Okay, too often we beat ourselves up for what we don't do and we don't give ourselves enough credit for what we do accomplish. So you want to be celebrating. Now, Grant Cardone talks about with goals, and I thought this was very powerful as well. He said, How often should you be writing your goals? He says, I write my goals, or he calls them targets twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and he does it a third time when he says, I have a deal that goes bad. When I'm having a bad day, I write my goals again. And he says, that reminds me of what I am working for. So that is step pillar number three, is having goals, all right? Setting activity goals versus result goals, result goals. Pillar number four is personal development personal and skill development. And what you want to be doing here, you want to be standing guard at the door of your mouth and your mind. And the way you're going to do that is you need to start looking at what you are reading, what you are watching, and who you are associating with. Okay? Because your success is going to be determined by the five people you hang out with the most. So if you're hanging around people who are constantly complaining, who are watching the news, who are just being negative, who are acting broke, you're not going to get anywhere. You want to be hanging around with people who have a big mindset, who are showing up and playing big. You want to find out what books are they reading. You know, great books to be reading in personal and skill development, business development, Tony Robbins, Brendan Burchard, Grant Cardone, um, Jamie Kern Lima. Those are all really good books. Brenny Brown, those are, you know, that can really help you with your mindset. You can also be looking at podcasts. If you don't like reading, you can listen um, a podcast or listen to books on tape like Audible. There's subscriptions to Audible, like $17 a month. You can get a credit, um, one credit where you can put it toward any, download any book, download those personal uh, development books, leadership books, John Maxwell. Um, you could be downloading spiritual books, but things that are going to help you with your mindset. 
okay? Listening to things, watching uh, YouTube channels, stay away from the news. The worst thing you can do is watch the news first thing when you wake up in the morning and when you go to bed at night, especially when you go to bed at night because all of it, you're not going to get a good night's rest, okay? The news is never positive. The news is always negative, okay? And so you want to be able to be um, putting in your mind, feeding your mind things that are going to help you show up more powerfully to serve your audience. So there you have it. Those are the four pillars to creating an unstoppable mindset. Did you get value today? If you know, if you did, let me know in the comment section and which one of those pillars really resonated with you most. I would really like to know. And if you got value from this today, make sure you hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel and, and hit that bell button so you get notified when I post my upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm rooting for you. Have a great day and we will talk soon. Bye now.